Uh, I think there's several reasons. Uh, one being we're getting the opportunity to play in one of the top conferences in the country. Uh, I think the Mountain West Conference provides an incredible challenge for me personally as a coach, uh, being able to kind of test the waters and, and see, see what level we can compete at. Uh, I think Wyoming for my family is a, a wonderful fit, uh, beautiful part of the country, uh, amazing outdoor opportunities, great place to raise a family, young kids. Um, so those were just a few of the reasons that we were really excited about this. It's been fast and furious. Uh, we, we kicked it off with a 28-hour U-Haul ride and uh, don't feel like we've stopped since. Uh, you know, just trying to get acclimated, trying to uh, find our way. It's, it's been difficult coming in and trying to recruit, not exactly knowing what's in our own gym right now. Uh, just learning uh, the ins and outs of how everything's done here at Wyoming. Uh, every school kind of does a paperwork trail differently in terms of compliance and just learning the way those things need to be taken care of. Uh, but it's been exciting. It's uh, Dan George Alice was on staff when we got here and he has done an excellent job of kind of bridging the gap between the old staff and, and myself and um, Andrea has helped us a great deal as well. So uh, it, there's been a lot going on but uh, it, it's been good. Uh, we, we took our time with it. We wanted to make sure that we found uh, the right people and that they were good fits for our program and for, for Wyoming, for Laramie. Uh, we were able to hire Kristen Belzing, who was at South Dakota State, uh, had a few years of collegiate experience there. She played at Northern Iowa, which is one of the top, top programs in the country. Uh, you know, they're just a hard work and blue collar type of team and uh, I was excited to have that type of person on our staff. I think she's going to have an excellent work ethic. She's a go-getter. Uh, and then we complimented her with Elizabeth Schuler, who's been the Director of Operations for Georgia State for both their indoor and their SAM program for the last couple of seasons. Um, we were excited about Liz, she's got a great personality. Uh, she was the only candidate who was an actual volleyball operations uh, in that position uh, out of the pool. So we were excited to have her come in. Uh, she's going to be able to hit the ground running. She knows exactly what that job entails uh, and we just can't wait to get her here. Uh, what I know about the team is that we have a great group of young ladies. Uh, from what I understand, they have a, a very good work ethic. Uh, couldn't tell you a thing about their, their abilities on the court yet, um, but I'm excited to, with all the intangibles that I'm hearing. We have a good group uh, on and off the court. They work hard, and I think as long as we have a, a, that type of attitude and those personalities in the gym, uh, we're going to be able to accomplish some good things. Uh, I think we want to be as competitive as, as we can in the Mountain West. Uh, you know, the team finished 8-8 eight and eight last year. We want to try to improve upon that. I think the ultimate goal for this group is to make the NCAA tournament. Uh, you know, we're going to have to be successful within the league. Uh, we have quite a few road games in the first few weeks on the road. We're going to have to make sure that our young, young players are acclimated to the travel pretty quickly. Uh, we've got to make sure that we're getting better and at the same time we're not working so hard that we um, you know, we're, we're not well prepared when we step on the floor due to fatigue. Uh, so there, we've just got to make sure we manage that well uh, with all the travel early on and trying to implement a new system. But uh, really excited to get out on the court, uh, get the opportunity to work with this talented group. And uh, like I said, the NCAA tournament is uh, the ultimate goal for us.